sixth movement of the day. Taking a little break. There we go. Taking a little break on the waterfront. Finished up our lunch. Got caught up on our paperwork. Got another beautiful day. Looks like everybody else just broke for lunch also. Not a whole lot going on, even though there's quite a bit going on. It's just not going on right now. Let's see. Inner island stuff. But anyway, we're all caught up. Time to give dispatch a call. Let them know that we're doing nothing. Bob Tilly Madsen. ship is in here. Most of it's been offloaded. Uh, in fact, judging by the container sitting on the dock, that means they're loading. They've already offloaded, so now they're loading. Well, we're going to pick up a container that's going to the big box tonight. So it's over in Charlie 15, stall 29. Had a busy weekend working on my wife's computer. Basically what it was happening is her computer was just running real slow. We figured it was time to change out the drives. What do you call those? The big data drives. And so got a new one from Amazon. My brother came over who's really good with computers and um, we basically were gonna clone her old drive onto the new drive and then put that new drive into the computer. Problem solved. The problem is the old drive was so in such bad shape that when we tried to clone it and tried to make the transfer, half the data that went onto the new drive was corrupted and it was having all kinds of glitches and problems. And um, of course, not, not a real com computer nerd myself, it took us quite a while to figure out what was what the problem was and um, and then somewhere along the line they uh, wanted to back up to a earlier version and come to find out my wife had never set waypoints through the years it's a 10 year old computer she never set any waypoints for the computer to back up to so when she backed up the computer to its last waypoint, it backed up all the way to Windows 7. And it's a Windows 10 computer now, but we had upgraded, upgraded, upgraded. And all of a sudden she lost all her data, but that was on the new drive, that wasn't on the old drive. The old drive was still there, just having trouble. I know what it is, the suction cup is dirty. So change the plan, we uh, reformatted the, the new drive, cleared everything off of it, and they went back to her old drive and started downloading it onto um, Got a few of them because of YouTube. So now what we're doing is waiting for a. Uh, my brother's going to take home the new drive and put a clean Windows 10 operating system on it. So it'll be like a brand new operating system, brand new drive and then we'll 
will install it in my wife's computer, which is a pretty good computer. And then just dump all of her data back onto it. But yeah, what a mess. When you don't know computers, it's such a headache trying to figure out, you know, that language. Charlie 15, install 29. Let's go over to Charlie 15. turns on all by itself sometimes. quantities of hazardous materials inside this container. This is non-flammable gas number two. If I had to guess what that is, it's probably CO2 cartridges. Because the big boxes sell those for your whipped cream, whipped cream makers. You know, you put heavy cream in a, a bottle and inject it with carbon dioxide and shoots out real good whipped cream. Lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on, lights on. Lights on. Mud flap, mud flap, seal, seal. Everything's closed. Placards are on. Did you check the lock? I don't even remember checking it. We did it so fast. I guess we did. The problem when you do things over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You know, you don't even think about it, and the muscle memory kicks in, and then you can't even remember doing things. It's kind of scary. Now, when I go in the out gate, they'll give me a ticket, and it'll tell me exactly what the hazardous material is. And the reason you put placards on, um containers in, in case there's an accident. There's an accident and the uh, first responders come, they're going to be able to look at the placards on your container and you know if there's a fire or something going on they're going to realize okay there's hazardous material inside that container let's be a little bit careful. Yeah. That's 
what it's there for. Now we're going to check the brakes on the trailer, not the tractor. I know the tractor brakes work. Do the trailer brakes work?
take this shower back to our terminal and get it in the yard. busy today. I think we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten movements. Just lost my paper clip. We only drove like 60, 66 miles. A lot of short, easy runs. Nothing terribly interesting today. Sounds like there's going to be another cruise ship on Thursday, though. But it won't be as big as the one we did on Friday. That's that. Clean up the truck a little bit. Get all my junk out of here. But yeah, 66 miles, 10 container movements. Came in at 6, we'll be out of here by 3.30. Good day. I'm going to go to my first chiropractor appointment at 5 this afternoon. See if he can do anything about my shoulder. I think it's just a pinched nerve. I think the nerve is stuck in the muscles. And so the muscles have pinched it. And uh, cause I, if I take like a, a Tylenol, the pain goes away. So it's, uh, so I don't know if a chiropractor can do anything about that, but it's kind of chronic. It's always there, always hurts. Neck, shoulder, right there. And after that, so we'll do, go to the chiropractor and then we'll head home for dinner. Um, tons of leftovers. In fact, I was eating leftovers for lunch today. So we're just gonna have the, the pasta and the beans and the rice and the salad and the lasagna. I think there's a lasagna too. <laughs> uh, so leftover pork chop. Yeah, so just leftovers for dinner tonight. But that is it for today. Thanks again for watching. Aloha.